Today, it turned all his nose on the visor. When you think about eternal snows or snows in general, the first color that really comes to your mind is white, pure white. We will apply titanium white straight from tube container at the very beginning because it takes so much time to get dry. In summer from four to seven days, in winter from one to two weeks. In some parts of the vice horn, rocks and earth are mixed with eternal snow, so a kind of brownish white, some other light gray for crevasses and shadows. Regarding the shadows, we're gonna be using three tones, three blue tones. Why? Because if you look at the picture that I took myself some months ago, you will discover a bunch of gray colors. If I paint gray, you're gonna say to me, it, it is dirty, and you will be right. So we are using bluish colors because snow is made by water. And in this case, using three different tonalities, light, medium, and really dark blue for crevasses and places where sun is completely away. Let's see how it goes. With a middle brush, carefully we start covering lightest parts of eternal snows with titanium white, taking straight from tube container, creating nice contrast with darker parts of the snow and an interesting effect of depth who draws and defines frozen shapes. Rocks are being gently half hidden with powdered snow as well improving chromatic contrast between raw rocks of Weisshorn's south face and fresh snow covering crevasses and places in their midst. As a result of applying this white tone to the summit, we honor and return to the Weisshorn its greatness and create an extraordinary symbiosis between pure stones and fresh snow. Pure titanium white on eternal snows. Once on a central glacier, titanium white helps us to fix ice racks on canvas, defining unique shapes and showing us a certain balance of beauty in that outstanding chaos. Mixing blues, mixing blues, mixing blues, mixing blues. Middle blue in shadows. Teal blue in shadow parts on the canvas will also improve contrast between rocks and snow waiting for the racing sun to appear. On Central Glacier will bring our painting a certain effect of depth and frozen transparencies as the base for following layers. Once applied to a second tone to Glacier's sunny parts will allow us to define acetic shapes and applying a third later teal tone to enhance mid-tones wide range spectrum. That's all for today. Eternal Snows are done third video on Weisshorn, just a last one in a few weeks for final details. Stay tuned, talk to you soon, bye bye.